Good morning. Hope you had a good weekend. I'm Philip Mena. Glad you're with us. I'm Francis Rivera. Critical and unexpected testimony is set for today in the New York hush money investigation of former President Trump. And, and our thanks to Garrett for that report. Former President Trump's call for his supporters to protest his potential arrest is being met with caution. Now to the latest efforts to prevent a global banking crisis. The Swiss government rescue on the Salt River near Phoenix over the weekend when two people got trapped by rising water. It happened out at NBC meteorologist Michelle Grossman with a look at the latest forecast on this Monday morning. Hey, Michelle, how are we starting the week? Hey there, guys. Great to see you. Well, see you in a few, Michelle. Thanks. Major upsets continued into the first weekend of the NCAA tournament. Number one, Sake of Florida Beach Town orders an emergency curfew. And still to come, the latest on the Leading the news, violence has shut down a spring break hotspot. The city of Miami Beach. The U.S. is offering support to Ecuador in the wake of a deadly earthquake that killed at least 14 people there and one other in Peru. Secretary. All right, before you make that morning smoothie, the important fruit. To the Capitol, the cast of Ted Lasso is heading to the White House. Later today, Jason, have it carry on and spread the message in this scope, in this arena. Mm -hmm. More power to him. Anybody promoting optimism and kindness, mm -hmm. on board for that. All right, up next, Michelle's got a look at our Monday forecast. And ahead, the story. Michelle, thank you. After the break, we have some good news. We love to share the most. Take it from me, flying with a child is no easy feat, but check out these kinds. Our thanks to Jose Diaz Ballard for bringing us those heartwarming stories. I was uh, dreading flying solo with my one-year-old daughter this weekend, going to Phoenix to visit family, but huge shout out to the guy who gave up his window seat mm -hmm. so that I could fit that uh, car seat in there, and the lady on the way back who uh, read a little story to her so I can grab her things from the diaper bag. Good people. I tell you what, especially those with families, the best thing you do is share what we do. Hi, good morning. I'm Francis Rivera. And I'm Philip Mena. Critical and unexpected testimony is set for today in the New York hush money investigation of former President Trump. This we go to NBC's Bree Jackson in Washington. Bree, good morning. So lay out what the situation looks like for Trump as this week begins. Good morning. A major story potentially ahead in the coming days, Bree. Thank you. This morning, Russian President Vladimir Putin will welcome Chinese President Xi Jinping to Moscow. Now live to our ally Ruzi in London. And ally, good morning. What is Vladimir Putin hoping to get out of this meeting? Uh, good Ruzi for us, ally, thank you. Day for the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, faces a vote of the CEO of the video sharing app plans to tell Congress that tickets. See how we're starting off this Monday weather wise and get to NBC meteorologist Michelle Grossman with a look at the latest. Hi, Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Michelle. A major upsets continued into the first weekend of the NCAA tournament. Team USA swings for the fences at the World Baseball Classic. Early today is back in one minute. The news, a new study by the Pentagon has found alarmingly high rates of cancer in military pilots and ground crews. Team USA needed one more win to head back to the World Baseball Classic Finals, standing in their way. A frightening health scare for a meteorologist. A California meteorologist is recovering following an on-screen health scare. So wishing her all the best. After the break, Michelle's got to look at your weather for your week ahead. And still to come, the hero kid who is... All right, Michelle, thank you. When we return, the child giving a big we're back with a bond between brothers that can't be broken a seven-year-old in good morning i'm philip mena and i'm francis rivera critical and unexpected testimony is set for today in the new york hush money investigation of former president trump before on this we go to nbc's brie jackson in washington and brie lay out what the situation looks like for trump as this week begins good morning brie jackson for us brie thank you in just a few hours from now, Russian President Vladimir Putin will welcome Chinese President Xi Jinping to, to Moscow. Now to a major deal aimed at preventing a global market meltdown. Swiss banking giant, the U.S. is offering support to Ecuador in the wake of a deadly earthquake that killed at least 14 people there and one other in Peru. So from the pitch to the capital, the cast of Ted Lasso is heading to the White House. Later today, let's go to NBC meteorologist Michelle Grossman with a look at the forecast on this first day of spring. Good morning, Michelle. Okay. All right, seeing a few, Michelle. Thanks. Major upsets continued into the first weekend of the NCAA tournament. 
the woman making history in the NCAA baseball. But first, the Golden State strikes up. Leading the news, an American Israeli man has been shot and wounded in the occupied Palestinian West Bank. The jury California is getting into the business of making affordable insulin. Governor Gavin Newsom. Now to an historic day on the diamond at Brown University. Freshman. All right, Bruce Willis celebrated his 68th birthday, and it was a sweet family affair family, they really deserve all that happiness with all they've been through. That's right. Still to come, a major highway in Michigan was closed for hours. They say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. But for those invent, <laughs> how about that? Or thanks to Adam for that. It's interesting. And like the guy said in the story there, it's a walk down memory lane. Yeah, it is. Laser discs. Remember those? Wow. All right, Finland, topping the list of happiest countries in the world for the sixth year in a row. The list released in honor of world. Michelle is back with a weather outlook for the week ahead. And our host said, yes, Bullard. So a lot of parents know flying with a child is no easy feat, but check out thanks to Jose Diaz Pilar for that report. These are just so simple, simple acts, but the huge impact and the emotion that comes along with it is just extraordinary. Yeah, the toddler on the plane really struck home for me mm -hmm. because uh, over the weekend I, I was really, the people around us just couldn't be more kind and understanding, just like in that story. Adding to all your daddy badges, right? <laughs> we all know.